Warning from the Foundation Records and Information Security Administration. Due to the recent discovery of this SCP object, as well as the multifaceted nature of the anomaly, there are several competing documentations for SCP-4804. The four most widely accepted are enumerated below, along with other researchers' arguments for and against in stating them as the official documentation. Thesis 1, proposed by researcher Calvin. Item Number, SCP-4804. Object Class, Mimetic. Containment Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. A selection of instances of SCP-4804-1 are to be brought to sound insulated containment chambers at Site-32. Analysis of their neurology and behavior will be recorded in order to determine what can be done for further containment. Description. SCP-4804 is a phenomenon affecting approximately 0.7% of the world's population. This percentage has fluctuated greatly since initial recording of SCP-4804. Individuals affected by SCP-4804, hereafter designated SCP-4804-1, believe that oranges do not exist. This phenomena extends to orange trees, the fruit itself, and all derivative products, including but not limited to juices, cleaning products, and pop culture references. Instances of SCP-4804-1 provide various justifications for their disbelief in oranges, ranging from the idea that oranges are simply a variant of apples, to oranges being a government conspiracy, to not being able to perceive any orange-related products at all. The source of SCP-4804 is unknown. However, analysis of the spread of SCP-4804 implies either a memetic hazard or exposure to a contagious anomaly. Recent testing has implied that SCP-4804 is not contagious, although anecdotal accounts by field agents have disputed these claims. Addendum SCP-4804 was discovered on March 11, 2019, when Dr. North noticed that several of his relatives became angry at the sight of orange juice. It is believed that the discovery of SCP-4804 was delayed by the fact that SCP-4804 primarily affected rural communities, who had isolated themselves from the greater, non-SCP-4804-1 population. Pros Spread of SCP-4804 does appear to reflect a memetic agent. Provides a thorough description of SCP-4804's effects. Cons The lack of discovery of SCP-4804 is not believed to be due to isolation. Does not address Lovecraft's The Oranges document. Document is vague in many places. Does not address the Teresa incident. Thesis 2 Proposed by Dr. Medeus Item Number, SCP-4804. Object Class, Textual. Containment Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. An instance of SCP-4804 is to be kept inside of a safe class item locker at Site-19. The memetics department is to develop a weaponized anti-meme used to wipe out infections of SCP-4804-1. Containment of instances of SCP-4804-2 is to take place once their physical properties can be ascertained. Copies of SCP-4804 outside of Foundation control are to be seized and incinerated. Description: SCP-4804 is a short story entitled The Oranges, written by American horror writer H.P. Lovecraft at an unspecified date. In summary, the story describes a group of young men who venture into a cave, only to emerge in an alternate timeline where large, orange-colored entities named Oranges are attempting to breach into our own dimension. The story ends with only one of the men escaping, before seeing the first Orange, visible to only him, enter the world. Reading at least 15% of SCP-4804 is known to have three effects. The spontaneous manifestation of between 1 and 9 oranges within 30 meters of the reader. The belief that oranges, the fruit, are works of fiction originally created by Lovecraft. In rare cases, manifestation of SCP-4804-2. In cases where subjects begin to believe oranges are works of fiction, classified as infections of SCP-4804-1, they will actively deny the existence of oranges. 
citing beliefs such as the belief that oranges are simply a variant of apples, oranges being a government conspiracy, and not being able to perceive any orange-related products at all. SCP-4804-2 are imperceptible entities of unknown size, appearance, or physicality. The only evidence of their existence is their ability to act on the physical world. SCP-4804-2 instances are known vectors of SCP-4804-1, and it is believed that instances are capable of inducing a brain hemorrhage in human subjects. Addendum The original copy of SCP-4804 was found in Lovecraft's possession shortly after his death. It is believed that it was published in numerous obscure pulp magazines. Sections of SCP-4804 were plagiarized by other authors for use in their own material, which is believed to have led to its relatively high rate of exposure across the population. SCP-4804's anomalous effects were discovered after Foundation janitorial specialist Frank was assaulted by their family after insisting that oranges were real. It is unknown how SCP-4804-1 and-2 remained undetected for a long period of time. Antimimetic phenomena is suspected, but not confirmed. Pros. Addresses Lovecraft's The Oranges, as well as other entities. Addresses spontaneous manifestations of oranges in the United States. States possibility of antimimetic phenomena. Cons. Spread theory does not match theoretical predictions. Does not address Teresa incident. Description of SCP-4804-2 is based on Lovecraft's interpretation and is not based in fact. Thesis 3. Proposed by Dr. Westron. Item Number. SCP-4804. Object Class. Event. Containment Class. Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. As SCP-4804 has already occurred, containment must take the form of addressing events untouched by SCP-4804, as well as preparation for if the phenomenon occurs again. Individuals who are immune to SCP-4804 are to be brought to Site-64 to have false memories of oranges implanted. Further containment is to be implemented once the exact nature of SCP-4804 is determined. Description. SCP-4804 is a CK-class restructuring of history scenario that occurred at some point before March 11, 2019. SCP-4804 involved the creation of oranges, which had not existed before this event. For unknown reasons, several individuals seem to be immune to the effects of SCP-4804 and will believe that oranges are not real, citing a variety of phenomena in order to justify their beliefs. SCP-4804-1 are antimimetic entities potentially responsible for SCP-4804. The nature of SCP-4804-1 entities are unknown. However, agents using Class W amnestics describe them as large, orange, amorphous entities of indeterminate form. SCP-4804-1 entities are detectable without amnestics by the fact that they spontaneously manifest oranges at indeterminate intervals. Prolonged perception of SCP-4804-1 causes immunity to SCP-4804, as described above. Addendum. The exact date of SCP-4804 is unknown. However, it is believed to have taken place before March 15, 1937, as H.P. Lovecraft had written a short story entitled The Oranges, which described SCP-4804-1 entities at length. September 19, 1927 is given as the likeliest date for this event. However, as this aligns with a known activation date of Pros. High possibility of the involvement of a CK-class event due to the high Hume levels of described entities. Addresses spontaneous manifestation of oranges in the United States. Partially addresses the Teresa incident. Cons. Oranges date back to the 9th century BCE. A CK-class event would have to be uncharacteristically thorough if it were to change all of this history. Description of SCP-4804-2 is based on Lovecraft's interpretation and is not based in fact. Thesis 4. Proposed by O5-1. Item Number. SCP-4804. Object Class. Divine. Containment Class. Keter. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-4804 is uncontained. 
An analysis of all employed Foundation personnel, specifically those in upper management, is to be conducted to determine if any are affected by a hostile entity. The Foundation is to construct defense systems in order to counteract SCP-4804. Personnel involved in this procedure are to undergo amnestic training and Foundation loyalty certification. Description. SCP-4804 is a hostile, extra-dimensional entity attempting to enter baseline reality. The exact goals of SCP-4804 remain unclear, however the entity appears to be attempting to subjugate the human population. In baseline reality, SCP-4804 takes two forms. SCP-4804-1, a citrus fruit colloquially known as the orange. SCP-4804-2, a formless anti-memetic entity. The consumption of instances of SCP-4804-1 is known to cause people to be infected by SCP-4804, allowing the entity to exhibit complete physical control over them. SCP-4804 is believed to have infected the majority of the human population. However, a small percentage of the population is immune to SCP-4804, and perceive SCP-4804-1 as invisible, while perceiving SCP-4804-2 as visible. Given the inability for the human mind to comprehend the complete form of SCP-4804-2, the resistant individual will invariably attempt to generate an explanation for the sightings. Teresa Incident on March 11, 2019, SCP-4804-2 descended below cloud cover and appeared above the state of Illinois. While the majority of the population was unable to perceive the entity, a number of resistant individuals began to panic and flee, referring to it as God, the Orange, and various other epithets. This mass hysteria became viral on the internet and required Foundation web crawlers to purge the event. Addendum. It is believed that H.P. Lovecraft was immune to SCP-4804, as he was able to write a short story titled The Oranges regarding SCP-4804-2. The nature of Lovecraft's relationship with SCP-4804 beyond this is unclear. Requests to classify SCP-4804 as an emergent threat are pending. Requests to immediately classify SCP-4804 have been denied. Pros Addresses the Teresa Incident Addresses anti-memetic phenomena. Addresses the Orange's anomalous document. Cons. Data redacted as per unanimous order of O5 Command. Data redacted by 12 to 1 vote. O5-1 is not a member of the O5 Council. O5-1 does not bathe in the orange light. We will not enter the unenlightenment. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to level 4 patrons Lesby Friends, Alexis Zagreit, Everborn, and Joe Light. And a huge shout out to level 5 patron Doomsday LLC Prince and Design, and level 6 patron Totally Not a Femboy. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.